Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to continue our discussion of events in C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. And specifically, we've been talking about mouse events, although what we're talking about, the concepts apply to other events. But we've been using mouse events to do things like zooming into a chart. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to use some similar events, but we're going to use it to draw rectangles on a form. So here's my application. Let me start it up and show you what we're going to be talking about. So here is the application, and it's basically a blank form one, and I have a text box with some scrolling vertical bars, and I am printing out as we get events associated with this form that's being printed out in that text box. And you can see I've had a form paint event, but that's it. There's no other events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some events that we've used before. And the first thing is I'm going to use a left mouse button click down event. And now I'm clicking it and you can see I have a mouse down event. And if I move it even slightly, I'm getting a mouse move event and a form paint event at the same time. And the reason is because as I move this, it's dragging out and redrawing a rectangle from the starting point to whatever the present point is. And as I move this around, you can see it's continually doing a mouse move and form paint. It's detecting that the mouse moved, and as a result, it's grabbing its position and painting a rectangle. And if I let it up, you can see the last two events were a mouse up, where I released the button, and a form paint. Now I can start again. I can do a left mouse button click and it will start again and draw another rectangle. And I can continue to do that. So in this drawing, what we're doing is we're using the mouse down event, which we used before. We're also now using the mouse move event and also the mouse up event. But we also, in order to draw this rectangle, we have to use the form paint events. So let's take a look at our application and see how we do this. So here is our application, c -Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. Very simple. Uh, we have a design, basically just a form. And over here we have a text box with vertical scroll bar. And the form is basically, we've got um, system.drawing, drawing 2D, because we're going to be drawing rectangle. And what we're going to have is similar to what we had in the previous videos. We've got event handlers for the mouse down click event. We've got an event handler for a mouse up when we release the button, but we've also included the mouse move event. So as we move the mouse, it generates this event. We also have a form one paint event that we're going to talk about. And we have a draw shapes method that we're going to generate that basically draws our rectangle. Now to get these events wired up and the event handlers, we're going to go in, we're going to select the form. Again, this is events for the form. We're not, we don't have a chart or anything. So these events are associated with this form. So we select the form, go over here to the lightning bolt and the properties and go down to mouse down and double click to get our mouse down event handler, mouse move to get the mouse move event handler, mouse up, and there's also a paint event. So we get, we double click on that to get the form one paint event handler that you saw before. Now, um, to start out, we know we're gonna to have to define a color that we're gonna draw the rectangle, and that's gonna be a color, we're gonna call it pen color, color.blue. We're also gonna develop our own rectangle class. We're gonna call it Drawing Rectangle, and it's gonna be R-E-C-T is our name for it. And it's basically this class here. You don't need this, but it's a nice way to put all of the properties of your rectangle, like the size, the location, start position, color, pen size, that kind of thing, all in one class. But the way this is gonna work is as you can imagine, when we do the mouse down, we're going to want to grab the start position of our rectangle. As we move the mouse position, we're going to want to redraw this form so that we draw the rectangle. And each time we move the mouse, we want to 
basically erase what we had before and redraw the rectangle. So we have continual drawing of the rectangle. And then we do a, a mouse up. We want to stop the drawing and leave it. So this mouse move event is going to have to somehow redraw the form and draw our rectangle. And the method we're going to have to actually draw the rectangle is this draw shapes. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. As we showed before, when we move the mouse, we not only get a mouse move event, but we're also getting a form one paint event. So this is where we're going to have to somehow in the mouse move, we're going to have to generate a paint event to paint the form to add our rectangle. First of all, let's look at our mouse down event handler. And what it's going to do is it's going to say, well, uh, we're getting the event args from this mouse down event. If it's not a mouse buttons dot left event arg, then return because it's not our left button mouse click. This is just checking to make sure it's not the right button or something. And then we're going to define a new rectangle with a starting position of whatever it is when we first put the mouse button down. And we're going to say it's a new drawing rectangle that we defined up here, drawing rectangle class. And the location is whatever this event args e.location gets the location of the mouse during the um, this initial mouse down event. Size is going to be size.empty because we haven't drawn it yet. Start position is whatever the location of the mouse at this initial event is. The owner is this is a control. So we're going to say the owner is the control, whatever the sender is. And then the drawing color is this pen color we defined up here. Basically what we're doing is we're just defining a new rectangle and we are initializing it. And I have added a text box one of pen text that says, hey, you just click the mouse. So that's what happens. We get the initial location and we start with the rectangle. The drawing rectangle, as we showed, has a rectangle class, which is a new rectangle. And we're going to feed it as an initializer. We're going to feed it with that location and size, which we showed before. And the properties are a size, a system drawing dot size, a point, which is a location where we're going to start and end, a owner, what's the control that sent this event, the start position of the rectangle, the drawing color, and the pen size, and here we've set it to be size of three and a color dot light green for the drawing, but we change that later. So that's basically the drawing rectangle. So we've defined it in the mouse down. Now in the mouse move, as we said, we're going to have to cause this form to be redrawn and to, and to draw the rectangle. So as we move the mouse, again, if, the, if it's not a mouse buttons dot left event, then we're going to return and it's the incorrect button. So each time the mouse moves, we want to do, determine the location of the top left corner of the rectangle. So what we want to do is we want to be able to, if I start a rectangle like this, I can also go like that. So we're going to want to make sure that we know how to draw the rectangle, even if the, the updated position is over in, to the left and above the initial position. So that's where we have this logic included. So if the present Y coordinate of the mouse is above the rectangle start position, set the location of the top left corner of the rectangle to uh, what we've got here. So if the um, event args dot Y is less than the start position, then we're going to say the rectangle location is a new point at this new location, which is the rect location dot X and uh, the event args dot Y. And that's for the Y. If the X is less, then we do the same thing. We set the new location at this value. So this is just allowing for going to the top and left. Now we need to determine the rectangle size at each time we move it so we can draw it. So it's a new size and it's the math.absolute. Again, we're going to be subtracting the start position X from the present position. And that could be negative if we're going to the left and above. So we're going to do a math.absolute. And same thing with the Y. So we're getting a rectangle size and a location. So 
in order to generate a paint event to actually paint the rectangle, we're going to call this dot invalidate, which invalidates the form and causes a redraw, which is going to cause this form one paint event to actually draw the rectangle. So we're going to invalidate it. And here I've got a, a pen text that says mouse move. So every time we move the mouse, it's going to show up. So we've set up the rectangle at this point. Even if we've moved to the left and above, it's still going to draw the correct rectangle. But it has done an invalidate of the form, which is going to call this form one dot paint, which is why every time we move, we get a form one paint event in that text box. So the form one paint event is going to be very, very easy. All it does is it says, OK, draw shapes, call our draw shapes method. We're feeding this graphics that we're using to paint and we're going to call this draw shapes. And what it says, if the rectangle is null, then return because there's nothing to draw. Um, we're also going to add this smoothing mode, which uh, gives us an anti-aliasing to clean up the um, rectangle a little bit. You don't need that. And then we're going to using pen that we already defined. We're going to define a new pen, which is the rectangle dot drawing color and pen size, which is the class that we defined for the rectangle. And then we're going to draw the rectangle using that pen and with that rectangle class that we defined. So it bounces around a little bit, but really basically all you need to do is when you move the mouse, you need to invalidate to generate a form one paint. And then the form one paint is going to draw the shape using the graphics object. And the draw shape is going to using that pen do a graphics dot draw rectangle. So that's how you draw rectangles. You basically need to you know, every time you move it, you're updating, you're invalidating this form. And you notice that we are drawing it on the form, not in the text box. So when we go behind the text box, the, it's not responding. It's just on this form that we are drawing it on. And we're updating, we're invalidating and redrawing using this rectangle class and using this paint event handler to draw it. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.